I was working a one to ten shift on Thursday, November fifth, when uh, I got a call from Nell Carroll, who was the uh, assistant director on the photo desk, telling me urgently to head directly to Colleen as quickly as possible because of reports of a shooting. Uh, I pulled in uh, and found a parking spot as quickly as I could, jumped out, and Daniel Clark was hugging his wife, Rachel Clark, as they were concerned over their daughter who was in a secure lockdown at the elementary school on base. And that one glance of eyes coming from, from her husband's you know, chest and shoulders, you know, the fear that not just them, but maybe the whole community started to feel. Uh, the picture I took that first evening... You know, the base was all locked down, and uh, he's just uh, sitting there alone with his thoughts. He told me, you know, this this never should have happened. Uh, when I showed up to the candlelight vigil, it was uh, eerie, calm. I was uh, scanning the crowd to see what, you know, what I can make a photo of and how can I tell a story of what was going on out there. Uh, I came uh, upon a guy who was sitting very close to me, Sergeant Major Leroy Walker, Jr., I think of a soldier as, as they have hearts of steel because they are so well trained, you know, to hide and to hold their emotions in. And here this soldier is overcome with emotion, uh, just grieving in his own way. I returned to Fort Hood on Sunday morning. So I went to a uh, church service on post. These two boys were on the front row. They are uh, sons of a, of a soldier on base. And I just wanted to show how the uh, tragedy affected, you know, not only the uh, soldiers, but uh, the children who lived on base. I was driving to some churches. You know, you saw them from a distance. I immediately pulled over on the side of the road. To me, that was just a powerful moment because he's not a soldier. He was just a, was a civilian like me. But he was using his freedom of speech just to let the troops know that, hey, you know, uh, hang in there. You have supporters. We're praying for you. On Tuesday, I was assigned to photograph the uh, huge memorial service for all the uh, 13 victims of the shooting. I could see different groups of, of civilian and military people start to gather near each other, and I was trying to find that connection between the community and the military. And I was fortunate enough to to, to see this one woman. Her name was Susan Young, um, Army Colonel Kathy uh, Platoni, gave her this huge big hug and held her tight. What I found out later was from Susan was that she was there uh, as an LVN. Um, I think she was giving immunization shots to the soldiers when the shooting took place and then obviously you know providing medical care and including tourniquets and, and medical attention to the soldiers wounded. I was uh, able to get in the White House press pool with a small group of other photographers just a, just a few feet away from the president. And it was in that location where I was able to get a clear photograph of the president and the first lady and uh, Governor Perry and Lieutenant General Robert Cohn. They were all sitting uh, among the grieving family members. During the invocation, I looked over to my left, and there was a soldier who was holding uh, what appeared to be his son. And during the prayer, you know, the son turned around and gave his... his his dad a hug and, and it was just a really quiet and a really kind of you know heartfelt moment the services and the sacrifices they all take on it's all about the simplest protection you know protection of father offers his son and then the military offer the country as a whole after the last speaker all of the uh, family members were allowed to go up and grieve in front of the picture of their loved one this really caught a moment of grief that um, put a human face on the uh, on the terrible tragedy. You could see the emotion just overwhelmingly, the, the heartfelt pain and suffering and and just the love um, and, and everything that, that was lost in that fraction of a moment. I went back to Colleen on Wednesday. I photographed Colleen's annual Veterans Day parade. There was a huge crowd there and uh, really for the first time in a week, I saw a lot of smiling faces, a lot of pride, a lot of joy, really. This boy named Alex De La Vega, he's seven years old. He told me that uh, his dad is in the Air Force and he's uh, serving uh, right now in uh, South Korea. And uh, he also told me that when he gets big, he's going to be in the military. If I could tell happy stories every day, all day long, for the rest of my life, I would certainly 
rather do that. I, I had to do a, do my job and, and get the image to tell other soldiers and tell the people, you know, exactly what they're feeling. They're human just like we're human. It's, it's hard to put into words what a photo means to you or what it might mean to someone else. A lot of times we could just let our photos speak for themselves.